6 o'clock on your Tuesday morning. Good morning, Arizona. We're starting with some uh, breaking news. Three people hurt in a crash in Tempe. Yeah, this is pretty bad, and it could have an impact on your drive into work. Let's check in with Gibby, who's at the scene. How's everyone doing, Gibby? Yeah, Scott and Tess, we understand that two of those people are in serious condition. One of them uh, was not so serious. We actually saw her walk over to the ambulance as they took her away. Let me step aside here so uh, you can kind of see out here. There is one car that is overturned right now uh, and the other into a pole. Right now we're trying to determine what led to this crash right here. Uh, we don't know, we don't you know yet which way they were traveling but I can tell you what you're looking at here this is 48th Street uh, just coming off the I-10 so uh, for those who travel this this is where the 143 ends so if you were coming off uh, southbound it's where the 143 ends it then turns into 48th Street you could see uh, from the video them working on uh, them out here also the cars that are out here but if you travel and you're getting off the I-10 they're actually letting you go <laughs> excuse me, through the intersection to Broadway, you could then uh, use that to come back around to get on 48th Street if you need to. And for those who usually get onto the 143, well, it is closed from Broadway up to the freeway here. So then you would have to go right, use Broadway again, or use that to get onto the 10 to get to work. So for now, this intersection uh, is closed in both directions from the freeway over to Broadway. Everything else they're allowing open. So if you're getting off the freeway, they're allowing you to go north onto 143. You just can't come south. So for now, until we get more information as to what led to this crash, guys, uh, three people at the hospital right now, uh, two of them, serious condition. All right, Gibby, thank you. We appreciate the info. So let's go over to Gina and find yeah. out how this is going to affect the morning commute. Uh, well, we're starting to see the effects. In fact, uh, I'll take the baton from here and continue our team coverage. We take you uh, to a little different perspective. This is the ADOT camera in the area, and this is exactly what Gibby was talking about here. Uh, that is the 143 right where it dumps into 48th Street. Right there at the I-10 is where it's shut down uh, between uh, the I-10 and Broadway. You cannot use 48th Street there in the area. So the real easy alternate is to make your way over to 40th Street. Uh, but my bigger concern is what we are now now starting to see is how it's affecting the commute coming out of Awatuki on the I-10 itself. And we are starting to